has been made in the valley. In 1995, flood debris was being cleared from what seemed like a minor tomb, known as KV-5. For thousands of years, this tomb was thought to have only six chambers. But when a doorway was unblocked, an amazing discovery was made. Behind lay a corridor with dozens of chambers leading off from it. KV-5 turned out to be the largest tomb ever found in the valley. It was discovered by Egyptologist Kent Weeks. We have corridors and passageways that go at least 150 meters back into the hillside. There are other corridors going off at transverse angles down the road here, at least as far as where those people are and probably beyond. We have corridors extending under the roadway in front of the tomb and beneath the hillside in this direction, taking it toward the tomb of Ramses II himself. We have other corridors going southward into the valley, nearly up to where Tutankhamun's tomb is located today. We've so far found 150 chambers. When you consider that most tombs here have 18 or 19 or fewer, that's quite a number. When you consider that the tomb of Seti I has 800 square meters in it, and this tomb has over 3,000, you get an idea of its remarkable size. Discoveries such as KV-5 have drawn huge numbers of modern tourists to the valley. Every day, 4,000 visitors from around the world explore the tombs. The popularity of the Valley of the Kings does cause problems. It's a real